Hey guys, welcome back. I am coming on to do a layout for the Shimmers Paints design team and I am using the July, can you believe I can say the word July at this point, 2024 color kits, the bonus bundle, as well as the paper kits. This is my color palette I'm using and it is bright and fresh and full of gorgeous goodness. Um, now the photo I'm using is this one right here. It was a fab summertime kind of photo on a day date out with a hub. So what I thought I would concentrate on is things I can use these beautiful looking um, strawberries. So I used up all of the lemons that I painted last time and now I have the strawberries. I have realized I want two sheets of our little coloring book goodies. Let's see. So let's see. Ooh, the pink would clearly work. That would be fun. Obviously, the strawberries would work to play up the strawberry vibe. But guys, wouldn't it be so cute to have some of the yellow and the pink together? <laughs> let's see what else we have. Love this artwork. So we're definitely going to use that on another one. Better save that. We've got these sweet little pieces. We've got the sun. That's an idea too really vibrant green which I love my photo does have some greenery in the background so that's kind of fun it really plays that up hmm wonder if I should go with something like that I really like this but I'm trying to get some mixed media in the background because I want to play with all my mixed media goodies this has the straw or more lemons in it Guys, what do I want to do? I really like that green. So when you really like something, your job is to go with it. Oops. Now, if I want to have enough room to do some mixed media, you know what we should do? <laughs> Nobody cry when they see me do this to this beautiful paper. So it's about right there. So let's go to about right here. Because I part I love is this bottom bit, right? I'm going to have to clean up my messy scrapey paper idea and what I'm going to do let me get rid of you know I don't mind actually I want some of the white I just don't want tons of it if that makes sense if it doesn't at least it makes sense in my brain okay so I have that love it we have me which is very helpful considering it's about me then where is that gorgeous strawberry goodness that we saw not that one where are my strawberries here it is then I love the bright white of these strawberries. Don't freak out, guys. I will cut that beneath it. So we have that, and this could stick up. Why do I like that so much? And I don't even have any proper mixed media. What I do have is all of these that I painted. If you look at my first video, I have a tutorial of how I painted these little guys in, which basically I just built up color, and I ended up using every single color believe it or not, in our mixed media goodies. So we have this. This seems, is it up a little too high? I love all the green. It looks almost like I'm in a sea of the green, which I kind of like. Okay, we're going to do that. We're going to go with it. Which paper do we want to use to play up the pinky pink? I want to use this one right here. So Let's go ahead and just, let's see, make sure it's not something. Okay, yep, we can totally use it. What I was looking for on the other side is to make sure it wasn't the kind of paper I would want to use for matting, and it wasn't. So I can just go ahead and do a nice cut without worrying about it. I'm going to cut it a little bit tidier in a second. I just tend to cut it with my scissors first. Don't have a great reason why, it's just what I do. All right, so then we go like that. I have the world's oldest vintage trimmer, but y'all still cuts like a charm. It's it's like the best one ever. All right, I like that. Is it a little tiny bit too wide? Not enough that it even matters, but here we are. Faffing about when we should get to it. All right, I think I'm gonna do a little scuffing of my edges since I have this scuffy line here, but that would be so cute. And then perhaps, I should be sitting in what's going to amount to be a fun little bowl of strawberries. Well, we just made that decision quickly and there's really no basis for it, but I think it's hilarious. So 
that's what we're going to do. And we're going to see tons of mixed media because of the strawberry goodness that I'm plopped within. So I'm going to go ahead, pop all my florals on and around for my little bowl here I'm creating. We have some cut ones. We have some of just the flowers. How cute is that? And I'll pop them up on foam adhesive. And I think it's going to be so stinking cute. I mean, these little itty bitty flowers, guys. Oh, they're so pretty. And I also have the leafy bits. And anytime I have leafy bits, I always end up giving them a nice little bend. It just adds that zhuzh to them. And I love it. So let me tack all of this down, pop it up on foam. Guys, this is going to be like the quickest layout because all of the artwork is done for so me. I've got all of these little pieces tacked down and you all look at, I didn't even scuff up my thing like I said I was going to. I just got too darn excited. Maybe I'll give it a little tiny scuff with you guys. Let me get a smaller pair of scissors you ever get so excited you just have to start going okay i'm already happier with the way it looks it's just not as perfect because you know i am hanging out in strawberry fields forever here so this is not a perfect situation and chances are two seconds after this photo was taken i spilled all over my white shirt because white is a scary thing so let's see all right, so that's fun. Just a little bit of something, something going on. That's all I needed there. Don't need my T-square ruler anymore. Well, I better keep it handy. If I say that, I'll need it. So this is so fun. Let's see about what's our next big thing to pop in. Oh my gosh, look at this summer bucket list. <gasps> I'm wondering, I like all that green right there. I'm wondering about having that be not so much like a full title, but definitely something, something above my photo. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put two pieces of dimensional adhesive at the top and then not towards the bottom. And the reason why is I'm gonna be tucking in this lower bit because I'm not actually writing. Do I want bucket list or just summer? Yeah, we can have bucket list, sure. And then the piece beneath it will end up having a fun little shadow too. Love it. So we've got this girl who is stunning, but not doing what I need it to do. When life hands you lemons, that's not really part of this. Because I really like this basket, but I don't know if it's doing the thing I need it to do. Ooh, yep, I like that right there. That really nice, strong pink. This is for lemonades. We already have the word summer going. Sweet summertime. Ooh, that is so pretty. So pretty. What else do we have in here? Today is all about fun. That's true. Nope. Today is all about the fun. Nope, that's not going to make it. Sometimes they just don't. Nope, nope, nope. Go ahead and pop that right there. Look at this. It's, yeah, uh, these baskets of gorgeousness. And I'm keeping everything pretty much down here. I don't know if that's allowed to be there. Ooh, guys, look at these. So it looks like in the real florals, there is more, um, more yellow in there. So I can go ahead and dot that in to have a little bit more yellow. We will check that out before we finish this up. Oh, and there's a cute little drinky poo here. So I'm gonna take that away. I like the vibe of this. I'm gonna tuck in a little drinky. Oh, there's my cell phone. Nobody really cares about that. That's not that pretty. So I can go ahead and pop that right there. And I have a ton of goodies from the, uh, bonus bundle and I'm definitely going to use those gorgeous strawberry bits guys look at they're so cool loved that we got those okay I think I'm going to just pop these things in I'm going to also dot in extra yellow into the centers let's go ahead 
it's like you want it in there but slightly hiding or at least that's what I do on almost everything. You want it there, but you want it to be like melding into all kinds of other things. I love that look. So I will dot in a little bit more of a deep yellow tone into the centers. Oh guys, we have beautiful flare, which we call them dots at Shimmers, but we've got these beautiful bits I wanted to tuck in as well. I have got a floral one as well as these strawberries. Let me pop that to the side. And I tend to use the little dimensional adhesive bit that comes with it because I think they're gorgeous. So let's see, that would be perfect up there. And that one kept its stickiness. This one wanted to argue just a little bit. Ooh, let me put it right here with that arrow piece, cute. What, oh, I need to pop this up. Is this the right size? Yes, it's perfect. Perfect. Guys, I love when things come together like this just because the, the goodies are just stunning. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, we have all of that. Wanna make sure that I am fully happy with my pieces so I can move that to the side. Is there anything in here? Ooh, the post is cute. Happy, sweet, so Summer Bucket List is the name of my title. Perfect. So what I wanna do now is just spend some time getting these little strawberries dotted around. So let's see. Definitely want one super visible here. I'm just using a little bit of liquid adhesive. Ooh, you know what I could, well, do I wanna put two here? Oh, the drama. Let me move my little lemon. A lemon is trying to get in here. Could be strawberry lemonade for all we know. Do I want to? Yes. I didn't know that I did. I thought I wanted them spread out, but they said no. They wanted to be fancy. So then what I'll do, since I've got those pretty pretties, I'll go ahead and put it there so I have a whole layered thing. Now I'm just going to go ahead and put some pretties here, there, and everywhere so that we see a little bit of sequin shimmery goodness when you look at the layout. And I love that, guys. Sorry, I have both boys decided that this is the perfect time to come and take their little puppy naps. So let's go ahead. And I like to get the adhesive on there first when I can because it gets a little bit tackier and it really holds nicely. Let's see, right there, right there. Isn't it funny? It's like we all do things differently and next time I do this, I'll actually do it differently myself. Okay, do I have enough sequin bits? I think I do for now. So I'm gonna pop them all on. I'll come back and show you this finished layout. All right, my friends, could this be more fun? I don't think so. I had so much fun creating it. I think I had so much fun because I spent, I just missed a spot. Do you guys see that spot I missed? I spent last night, going around and you know doing the painting on all of these beautiful bits and then I was fussy cutting them out so it's been a whole process of just like not rushing any of it get in there Mr. Sequin okay I concentrated first on putting the green sequins in because I really liked the uh tone on tone of the green and followed in with pink and just a couple white so there we have it, guys, for my summer bucket list layout. I think it's an absolute blast, and it is gorgeous, and it's got these bright tones, and I am rather happy with it. All right, guys, I will have links down below. When you guys put in your order, be sure to put my name in the comment section to score yourself a freebie. Um, and check out the Facebook group. Check out the blog. All the links will be right there. And, guys, I will see you ever so soon with another video. Bye for now, friends.